Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your support. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps my channel out a great deal. Well, Leo, let's see what's going on for you for January 1st through the 15th. What's going on with Leo for January 1st through the 15th? Okay, you got the Knight of Swords. You got the Page of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay, it looks like you're concentrating on your money. You may have good career options coming in. You have the Justice card. And you have the Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, okay, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so you have a lot of happiness coming your way this month. Lots of happiness and high priestess. Okay, you have the Knight of Cups. The King of Swords. And you have oh, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so yeah, there's love coming in for you too. You have the Ace of Cups at the bottom. So definitely love coming in for you for January 1st through the 15th. So there may be new love coming in for you. You may be concentrating on your love life at the moment. This may be um, you going into this new year with just a, a spark that's going to bloom into something that's really wonderful for you something that you're very passionate about, something that is very fulfilling in your life. And definitely with this King of Swords and this Queen of Swords, definitely counterparts here. You have love coming in for January. Very interesting, Leo. Okay, we're starting off the reading with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like some kind of business opportunity is coming in for you. Something that you may have been waiting for. Um, something that could have been delayed for some kind of circumstances. But I feel like you're going to get messages about the situation. Um, you're going to get word coming through to you on some kind of business opportunity that you're trying to get into or maybe um, some kind of application that you put in for a new job you're going to get word on that very soon it's coming in and uh, it, it was kind of delayed it may have been delayed because of the holidays but that's coming through for you now you also have the queen of pentacles so i see that you're very resourceful you're really working on money that's coming into your household money that's coming into your life and you have the justice card here so i feel like this is a balanced situation this is something that may be life changing for you because the justice card this brings out your truth this is your karma. This is your return for the things that you've done in the past, and all the good things. So this, what, what is coming through for you is exactly what you deserve. Um, this is all your good efforts coming through in the situation. And you have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like things are going to feel like it's moving pretty fast in January. It's going to feel like you're busy, like you're always doing something. But I feel like you are 
very free spirited. You're very creative at this time. I feel like you, you may be coming up with new ideas and you're taking action on them. You're taking action on some kind of creative project that you've been working on and that's finally coming into progress for you. But I feel like, you know what, a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment is coming into your life. You're you're feeling more, more balanced, more focused. Uh, this could also be you having a great time with your family or friends or just really enjoying yourself in January. I feel like you're setting your intentions. Um, you may be making your resolutions and you're acting upon those to make changes in your life that are going to be very fruitful for you as the year goes on because you do have the high priestess so you know I, I feel like with the high priestess you're really trusting yourself you're trusting your intuition you're trusting which way you're going um i feel like you're really setting your intentions to move in a certain direction and you're really taking initiative to move in that direction okay you have the knight of cups and you also have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So Leo, if you are looking for love, January is the, the, the month that's really going to be <laughs> kind of an exploration for you. You have the Knight of Cups, so I feel like someone is approaching you. If you're not in a relationship, if you're single, I feel like someone is approaching you in January. This may be someone you meet um, during social gatherings or some kind of event that you go through, but this person really adores you. They are with this King of Swords energy. They are very honest, very approachable. This person has good intentions. They're, they, they think with their their mind and they not just think with their heart so they're they're making a logical decision to approach you and the this the king of swords and the queen of swords leo this this is a power couple these are great thinkers great strategizers these two counterparts here work very well together they they kind of mesh and i feel like this person that's coming towards you um in january i feel like this is going to be like an instant connection this is going to be maybe love at first sight and with the being such great thinkers being intelligent being thoughtful i feel like this relationship is gonna i mean be boundless this relationship is gonna endure and like i said you have the ace of cups on the bottom so this is gonna bring a lot of great love into your life in january a lot of good things are coming to you leo if if you've been struggling or if you haven't really had the best of time january is definitely the month to look up to definitely because a lot of good things are coming to you i feel like a lot of good things are coming to you let's get a few oracle cards let's see what kind of energies leo is in at the moment okay leo yeah you have recovery so i definitely feel like you're recovering from some kind of situation and this recovery is going to be very evident in January. So I feel like you are, you're in, approaching a very good time. This year is going to be the year of Leo, definitely. Okay, and you also have forgiveness. So yeah, Leo, there may be somebody in your life that you need to forgive. Someone that you need to just, even if you have to forgive them and let them go. Um, but yeah, the, there's someone in your life that you need to forgive. 
and at the bottom you have be assertive so yeah and with these knights here in the reading i feel like you're really taking initiative you're taking a lot of good action that's um gonna be very very fruitful for you okay let's get a little bit of clarity for this reading what kind of outcome are we gonna have for Leo I'm just gonna move those over what is going to be the outcome for Leo yes okay the nine of Pentacles so definitely your income is going to be increasing you're becoming more independent this is a good indication that this year is blossoming into something that's going to be very fruitful for you. And I just dropped some cards. In just a moment. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, what else do we have for Leo? What's an outcome for Leo for January? <laughs> the magician definitely definitely you are creating something that you're really putting into action you're really bringing something down to earth maybe something that has been in your thoughts for a while or maybe something that you are um really trying to manifest into your life i feel like you're really bringing that down to earth you're bringing that into fruition. You have all the resources that you need in order to bring this to life. And I feel like you're putting inspired action into this uh, situation. If this is love, if this is career, if this is just your lifestyle in, in general, I feel like you are really inspiring, taking great action. Okay, and you have the three of wands. So yeah, with the three of wands, I feel like you're you're definitely expanding your horizons. You're going through a progression that's taking you to the next level. This is really a good reading here, Leo. You have the seven of pentacles on the bottom. Well, actually, this is the eight of pentacles. This is the eight of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you're working hard. You're making a lot of progress. Even if you don't see it, Leo, you're making a lot of progress. You you are going to be very happy with the outcome here. And with the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom, I feel like you are really, you're putting the work in. You're really taking initiative to get done what you want to get done. It's very inspiring how this reading is coming out for you. Leo. Let's get some monology cards for this reading. Let's get some monology. Okay. Bring love into your situation. New moon in Aquarius. Yeah, Leo, and I feel like, like I said, love is coming in for you in January. So I feel like, yeah, you're definitely going to be bringing love into your situation. You just have to be open for this love to come through. So if you're feeling unbalanced, if you're feeling like, you know, you are having some issues with maybe past events or past problems, past relationships, you, you really need to align yourself right now. Feel grounded. Uh, be open to this love situation that's coming in. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. Beautiful mutable moon so definitely you know tarot is just meant to be guidance it's not to me meant to be set in stone you do have free will so you know whatever the cards say you know you have the ability to change the situation because you may do different um you may act in a different way that's going to change the circumstances but yeah, 
Nothing is set in stone, Leo. The energy is gaining momentum, the waxing moon. So definitely, and that's what I was saying, Leo. I feel like you're really gaining momentum. I feel like you're taking inspired action. You're being very assertive this month in January. Okay, let's get some manifestation cards. Let's get some manifestation cards for Leo. And you know what? I feel like these manifestation cards, they seem more like how to get through your challenges, how to get through any obstacles. Okay. Leo, you have full moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. Yes, yeah, set your intentions. Set your intentions, Leo. See, look towards your future. Expand your horizons. When you're setting your intentions, look at the big picture and see all of the specific details of that picture. Kind of draw it out in your mind. Envision what you want in your life and set those intentions specifically. Okay, you have, <laughs> yes, definitely, Leo. New moon in Aries. Go for it. Just go for it. Whatever you are setting your intentions on, it's so important just to take inspired action. You may also want to detoxify. So you may want to cut out things in your life that are bringing negative energies that, that are, you know, not very healthy for you. Um, smoking, drinking, uh, you may detoxify your body. You may even cut out sugar for a while um, to, you know, make yourself healthier. Okay. Let's get another oracle for for um, Leo, and this is the keeper keeper of the light deck oracle card. Keeper of the lights. Okay, and actually we've got two. So we've got supreme protection, Green Terra. You are protected, Leo. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitations and trust. Beautiful energy. And you have Kalima facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Beautiful energy, Leo. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, what you may not be expecting, Leo, you have Isis, magic manifesting. That's another magician energy. So definitely your dreams, visions, goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Definitely. Okay, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave the reading there. So if you resonate with this reading or in the comment section below, type claim it. Your dreams are your reality. And um, Leo, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Liking my videos are really making a huge impact and I appreciate all of your support. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Happy New Year, Leo. Many blessings to you. Love and light.